Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be recommending some PC specs for a Photoshop PC build right now in 2023. Now this is going to be for a mid range PC and we're going to be trying to take advantage of the really sweet prices that we have for many components right now. Now the ground rules are going to be, we're going to go for value and performance. We're also going to be looking for products that are available directly from Amazon. I'm here on the Amazon page and where we haven't got something directly from Amazon, I want to be getting it from a third party seller with at least a 90% rating. So we'll start off with the CPU, the Intel Core i5 12600K. This came out in 2021 and the price has dropped substantially. It's been as low as $179 quite recently. Now with this one, it'll give you about 80% of the performance of the very fastest Intel CPUs but at a fraction of the price. Now the seller here in the in, in the box, in the purchase box, has got a fairly poor rating of 54%. But if you look further down here, you'll find several other sellers with ratings of 100, 90% and Amazon down here. Now for our motherboard, I think we're gonna be going with the DDR4 motherboard. We're gonna go with the Z790 uh, AYFI DDR4 Pro series from MSI. This one comes in at $249.99. And I know there are some people out there who really do not want to purchase a motherboard for more than they pay for the CPU. So I'm going to be recommending a the, the previous version, the Z690. This one has got slightly fewer USB connections at, at the highest speed, and it doesn't have PCIe 4. So it's a little bit slower in some ways, but this guy here, the 249.99 one, is a bit more future-proof in my view. But definitely you go for, which, for whichever one you want to. Uh, the motherboard, the 249.99 one, we've got four spaces for memory. So you could upgrade this to 128 gigabytes. We've got lots and lots of PCIe expansion slots, including one PCIe 5 one. Now there are four slots for m.2 slots for nvme drives those ones will give you up to four pcie4 nvme slots there are also six sata ports for the input outputs we've got plenty of usb types us we've got one usb type c we've got wi-fi 6e and we've got usb uh the type a fast usb connections if we take a look at the cheaper one, the Z690. This is from the prior generation. It has fewer very fast USB connections. Wi-Fi, it's got Wi-Fi 6, not 6E. It's a fairly small difference. It also does not have PCIe 5. So the PCIe slot, the, PC, the graphics slot is PCIe 4. And obviously the NVMe slots, those are gonna be a combination of PCIe 4 and PCIe 3. Otherwise, it is very similar to the uh, more expensive one. If you wanted to upgrade to the 13th gen CPUs, you can with either of these two. And uh, if you wanted to upgrade from this one, you would need to just update the BIOS. As far as the overclocking capabilities, these can fully overclock. You can overclock memory, CPU, everything. The seller here maybe doesn't have the highest uh, rating, but if you go down here, you'll find plenty of other sellers with very high ratings. Amazon, Deals Pro have 100%, Platinum, Micro, 90%. Just a word of uh, warning, if you go for these two, the, the ones that do not have DDR4 in the title, these ones are DDR5. So you'd have to pair these with DDR5 memory. Our memory is gonna be this DDR4 memory from Patriot Viper. This one is at 57.99, gives you 32 gigabytes. That's more than sufficient for Photoshop. At 3600 megahertz, it allows you to overclock significantly over the default 3200 maximum speed for the Intel CPUs. The seller is the official Patriot memory. It's the guys who actually manufacture the memory and they have a very, very strong reputation. For storage, I'm gonna recommend the I'm going to recommend, oh, the prices are just coming down. It's amazing. I'm going to recommend the one, uh, why not go for the two terabytes at this price? The $49.99 will get one terabyte of the, wow, this is PCIe 4. The prices are incredible. So this, the, the storage 
and the memory, the prices that you're seeing now are the lowest that we've seen ever. Now you could go up to two terabytes. That takes you to 122. You can also get one with a heat sink. Now with these ones, the crucial ones, you get five years warranty. And uh, with the five year warranty, you also get what they call the Acronis cloning software that allows you to take your operating system from wherever it is now onto the NVMe drive and is a pain-free way of doing that. They also support what's known as uh, Microsoft Direct Storage. Now, if you want hard drive storage, I'll recommend actually going with this external WD elements. Western Digital have the best reputation in hard drives and the 14 terabyte and 18 terabyte ones are very, very good value at the moment. These will plug into your USB ports in fact, they'll give you the same performance as if you had the hard drive inside your case. So if you don't have a lot of case space for hard drives, this is one solution. Now for cooling, I'm going to make several recommendations. We could go with the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. This is some heavy metal, guys. And this one, I think it weighs more than a kilo. It's very reliable. It's probably my favorite cooler. And it will, at 250 watts, it will easily uh, handle the 125 watts of the 12600K. The other ones here will also handle the 12600K. There is one here, which is the same price, but it's the BK023. This one's for AMD, and this one is not gonna be compatible, but these other ones are all compatible with the motherboard and the CPU. You could also go with the liquid cooler, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 millimeter. This one is at $97.99, pretty affordable for a very high quality cooler. Be warned, however, that although this is an award-winning cooler, there was a product recall, and it's not gonna affect you if you purchase this one from Platinum Micro, who have a very good, strong reputation on Amazon. But if you purchase it used, you may find that you have one that may have been recalled. So be careful if you intend to go for eBay for this one. There's a more powerful 360 millimeter one here. Now the 200, the 240 millimeter one will fit inside pretty much any case, any modern case, but this one you'll need to check the cases for compatibility. It, this one is actually being sold by Arctic, who are a very good seller with a 100% feedback ratio, or actually 96% feedback ratio. If you want a little bit of bling bling with your uh, liquid cooler, this Be Quiet 240 millimeter one will be just the one for you. Uh, again, this will fit inside most cases and uh, Be Quiet have very quiet fans, as the name suggests. You can also go for a 280 millimeter one. They have also got a 360 millimeter one. But again, just check the case to make sure that your case can support this. Now for the power supplies, for me, the power supplies are probably the most important component of the of the PC because it's the one where you've got the energy efficiency, you've got the energy savings. Uh, it's also protecting your system from uh, any silliness that happens with the, with the power connection. Now, this one uh, from MSI, uh, the MSI MPGA850G, this one has got the PCIe and ATX 3.0 compatibility. It's got the 12 volt high power connection for the very latest NVIDIA graphics cards. So it's very high quality and it's won several awards currently on offer. Uh, they also have a thousand watt power supply if you want something more powerful, if you intend to uh, upgrade your system at some later stage. Um, there's a 750 one as well that if, if you want that one. So with this one, it's probably my top recommendation. Uh, I could also recommend the Corsair 750 watts one. It's $120. They also have the ATX 3.0 PCIe 5 uh, RMX shift power supplies. These ones, as you can see there, have got the side. They've got the connections at the side. These ones, if you want to know a little bit more about these uh, power supplies, I have a video on the new ATX 3 PCIe 5 power supplies. I'll link to that one in the description. And I'm just going to make a quick recommendation for the keyboard. This is an EVGA mechanical optical keyboard. And if you want a mechanical keyboard, this one's on special offer. Um, I think with mechanical keyboards, you either like them or you, you don't like them, but at least try them once. And these uh, EVGA have a lot of them that are on special offer at the moment. Uh, for the graphics card, I'm, I'm going to recommend the RTX 4060. Very, very high energy efficiency. 
and it runs very quiet. Uh, it's a very powerful card. You can actually run the Creative Cloud on one of these uh, graphics cards. If you want to go for something a little bit less expensive, the Radeon RX 7600. This one from a Gigabyte has got three fans, which usually works out a little bit quieter than two fans. And it is somewhat less powerful than the RTX card, but it is less expensive at $259.99. If you can, I would go for the RTX card. There is a, an RTX 3050. This is from the previous 30 series generation. This one at $229 is somewhat less expensive, but it does everything you need for Photoshop and would be fine for Lightroom, for Illustrator, for other software like that in the Adobe Creative Cloud. I would probably want something a little bit, a little bit more than this if I was running uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and doing 4K editing. Now, NVIDIA have got a lot of features that are very, very suitable and desirable for content creators and for creatives. They've got all sorts of software and hardware features that allow for acceleration in Adobe uh, software, including After Effects, Illustrator, Photoshop, and Lightroom. All of the new artificial intelligence features inside of Photoshop and Lightroom, those ones are accelerated tremendously by having a graphics card. And on top of that, they also have NVIDIA Omniverse, Broadcast, and Canvas. These are all apps that are created by NVIDIA and they are, I'll have a link to these in the description. They're standalone packages, they're standalone apps that could be potentially very useful for, for creatives. So if you want to find out a bit more about these, I will link to this page in the description. Those ones require the RTX cards from NVIDIA. They don't work on the GTX cards. And talking of the GTX cards, uh, you could also go for this, this GTX 1650 uh, at $154.99. This one would be perfectly fine for, for Photoshop and probably okay as well for Illustrator. Uh, you begin to struggle when you're using some of the other software in the Adobe Creative Cloud. I don't want to make any firm recommendations when it comes to cool, when it comes to cases, but this Be Quiet one, there's a whole range of them here. I did like the way that they're marketed. So they, they've got these photographs where they show you the exploded view, which I think is really nice because you really don't know what you're getting when you're purchasing something online. So these ones would work with all the other components uh, that I've recommended in this video. And there are quite a number of them with different configurations. This particular one here, the BGW37, um, you can get it from this company, but they have a relatively low feedback. Um, however, with Amazon themselves, they're selling it for significantly less. So the 109.90 t compared to 123.90. So it's always a good idea just to check down here because Amazon do all sorts of weird stuff with their placement of different sellers. Um, the BG W43, this one is, there's some very good prices for this one in the UK. It's a pretty nice one, which comes with three, four Be Quiet fans. These ones are very high quality. So you can see that's a nice one. You're getting quite a lot of fans. If you want to get it with a cooler, you could get it with a cooler. You could get it with the, um, with the Dark Rock Pro 4. So this one would be 199. And I think this is just to show that you can fit this huge air cooler inside of this case. Now, when it comes to uh, monitors, I usually do monitors separately, but I just wanted to give a quick mention to the B BenQ PhotoView uh, SW271C. This one is a 4K monitor at 27 inches, comes with hardware calibration, so you get accurate colors, 16-bit 3D LUT, this is an excellent monitor and it's really the kind of monitor that you want to use if you are doing high-end photography and you need to edit things for print. They also have what they call a design view. I think, they, again, they've changed the branding, but this one is a, a one for designers. It is significantly less expensive, but it is uh, 4K, 27 inches. Again, accurate colors, maybe not the same hardware calibration that we had in the in the previous one, but the price is quite a lot less at $449.99. So let's talk about AMD for those guys who want to really go with AMD. Now, all of the components that we've discussed before would actually go with AMD. 
but there would be a few changes that we need to make. So if you wanted to go with an AMD CPU rather than an Intel CPU, you would get slightly faster performance. Currently, the price of the Ryzen 5 7600X would be about the same. You would need to get a slightly more expensive memory. This would be the DDR5 memory. Now, this one here from G-Skill, again, very, very affordable right now. Um, you don't want to wait too much if you want to get the, the, the memory at these decent prices. The seller is a very good one, Razer Speed. I think they have a 100% feedback ratio. And although the price is about, what, 80% higher than the DDR4 memory, it does run a little bit faster. So it gives you a little bit more performance. And this particular one has got the AMD Expo feature, which allows you to overclock with a single click as it were. Now you'd want to pair everything with a motherboard like this one here. This is the uh, Tomahawk from MSI. This is a fairly high-end motherboard and it's coming in at $309.99. Now with this one, you're getting a slightly higher end motherboard than the ones that we looked at before. And it has got very decent input outputs, including two USB type C. The other thing it has is PCIe 5. Of course, it does support DDR5. So it is a very high end, but somewhat more expensive board. But with AMD, you can actually get PCIe 5 storage. And with that particular motherboard, you could get something like this Crucial T700. This runs at twice the speed of the other unit that we were looking at. For the uh for the two terabyte one the four terabyte one is currently 489 the one terabyte one is 179.99 so you do get that advantage of the slightly fastest well significantly faster storage if you wanted to use that and if you wanted to pay 100 a couple hundred more for that particular feature the amd one may be the one that you want to go for but you also get the fact that the amd motherboard can support upgrades probably for the next four or five years whilst the intel motherboard can support one upgrade and that will be to the 13th generation which already exists now it's possible intel may come out with another compatible cpu the 14th generation but generally speaking that hasn't been how they've arranged things with amd they've already said the new CPUs are going to be compatible with the uh, existing motherboards. So you get that advantage of a little bit of future, or quite a lot of future proofing. So you may want to pay a little bit more for that. I'll have links to all of these uh, items in the description so that uh, you can go ahead and purchase them if you want to. Guys, that's going to be it. I'd love to know what your comments are on this particular video. I will see you guys in the next one.